take a deep breath you can close your eyes for a while if that helps you focus as we journey through a short visualization you've gone for a quick supermarket run just to get a snack that you're craving you get there and the supermarket is thankfully not busy so you live with no rush or delay as you head back to your car or to the bus stop you remove your mask just to get some fresh air as you remove your mask someone walking in your direction suddenly stops almost starstruck this massive smile comes across their face and you smile back being courteous they say hi and ask how you're doing you say you're doing fine then they tell you that it is absolutely wild that they're bumping into you because just recently something you posted on social media a few months ago really resonated with them that statement that post it caused a small but impactful change in their life and that change has led to almost a ripple effect because they have used your line and shared your post with others and they just wanted to tell you two words thank you you stand there looking at them trying to understand how that post could have had such an effect you say your goodbyes and you carry on to your car to the bus stop with a smile on your face just thinking wow from this short visualization i hope you experienced how good it felt to know that you could have such an impact on someone hi everyone as joe said my name is faustina i'm an aspiring lawyer and i love glitter i love glitter because it can be used in literally any situation i love glitter because of the value it adds to anything it is used in i love glitter because of how much it sticks to your skin even after 10 showers and i love glitter because this is how i get to positively impact people all over the world I'm going to tell you how I'm going to go about this talk because we all love a good spoiler, right? At least I do. Firstly, we're going to explore the reason why you should try to spread as much glitter as possible. Then I'm going to give you ways how you can go about spreading glitter of your own. The reason why you should try to spread as much glitter as possible, shockingly, is not some complicated scientific calculation. It's simply because you don't know what someone is dealing with. So why not just be a good person and spread some joy or encouragement? Someone could be on the brink of tears and your I believe in you or I'm here for you can mean the world. Similarly, telling a friend who has a business to keep going or encouraging a classmate to sign up for an internship you think they would love can be life changing you have the ability to spark something in someone that neither of you could have imagined and the best part about it you don't have to be famous to do so we've been led to think that only well-known articulate motivational speakers or celebrities can inspire people and that is far from the truth everyone will not be positive all the time that's just not how we're meant to be but in those down times, we can be that light for someone so much so that it stays with them even when we leave. Our light, positivity or glitter can give the nudge that they need to get started or even help them continue on their journey. So, how can you go about spreading glitter of your own? The obvious way would be words. As we're told in the Bible and other spiritual books, that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Did you know that speaking positively to plants helps them grow? Well, companies and secondary school students have tested this theory, but from my experience, seeing my mother speak to her plants daily, I can tell you that it works. It's almost wild to think that our words can have such an impact on something that cannot conceptualize or remember things like the human brain can. Now, let's think about the impact our words can have on people who can internalize and remember what we've said. I've had this happen to me over the summer as a work experience participant. My mentor for that week told me something that has greatly improved my self-confidence. Any law firm will be lucky to have you. Nine words that have arguably changed my outlook. 
so ever since i've done any applications i've had this mindset and when any rejections came back i just thought hmm, well they locked out our words can be immensely impactful so remember to use them wisely for many people around the world communication is an issue it can sometimes be hard to articulate how you're feeling or supporting someone however this is where our actions, mannerisms, and attitude come into play and how we can spread glitter without even thinking about it. This is something I strongly believe in as someone who stammers. Even though I love to talk, and even now as I'm in front of the camera, I stammer. But as I've gotten older, I, I always wanted people to remember me for things other than my stammer. In fact, before 2020, when I spoke publicly about my stammer, many people told me that they never realized it. While it could be because my speech and understanding my speech impediment has improved over the years, I believe that it is because of my positive attitude and being a light wherever I go. Because my goal is to be, as Carl Newport put it, so good they can't ignore you. In fact, I'll take it one step further to say, shine so brightly and spread so much glitter they can't ignore you. Even though I've been practicing and trying to figure out for months now, yes months, how to explain the reason why a 25 year old is so fascinated by glitter, I want to leave you with one thing. Wherever you go, whatever you do, and however you do it, be that source of positivity or inspiration to the people around you. Sometimes, three months or three years down the line, you may bump into them in a supermarket parking lot and they remind you of a speck of glitter you left that forever changed their life.